All right, welcome back. So, there's been some progress since I got the transmission out. Um, yeah, so today, uh, the engine is coming out. There it is. Got the hood off. Uh, got the intake off. Got pretty much everything ready to go. The only thing, um, I don't have an engine hoist. So, I am going to use the next best thing other than just lift, you know, lifting it out by my, my own hands, uh, which is impossible for me to do. Um, I'm going to use way over there. I don't know if you can see it. I have a backhoe. So, we're going to pluck this thing out using that. There's the old barn. There we are here. Look at that. So, yeah, took the hood off. Was it last week? And yeah, this is the way it sits now. Intake off. There's no weren't many real surprises with the intake. Um, a lot of dirt, grime kind of on it. Um, there it is. There. Nothing real spectacular. Rusted. Got the carburetor off. Everything came off pretty good. No big surprises. But yeah, I got this thing tore down a little bit. Got the trunk laid off. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty much the next step before we start tearing body panels off and getting, you know, the final insides out. I got to do this. It's kind of one of the things I wanted to get done sooner than later. Um, winter's coming. It's already, it doesn't look like it today. It's a beautiful day. It's October, what is it, 20th, 21st, something like that. And, uh, but... Yeah, it was kind of wet snow, rainy all week, um, and usually snow is the first week of November around here. Um, so yeah, this is the next big thing is to get this out, and then I can kind of work away on it into the garage. And uh, yeah, got it blocked. It shouldn't go anywhere. Uh, I'll throw something under the back wheel, maybe, too, as long as it doesn't move around. I've already got it, well, the transmission's out, so. It's still pretty loose. There's only, I have the engine mount bolts loosened off down there. Um, I just took the alternator off. Yeah. All the wiring's off. I'm going to just double check once. I thought I had it off already, and then I realized I forgot the ground wire at the back. So that would have been good. Rip that off the firewall. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it once over one more time, and then uh, we'll get the back all fired up and over here. And then we'll put this thing, I gotta pull my engine stand out too. I gotta do that too, so I'll be back. All right, here we are in the back though, our, our Caterpillar engine hoist, whatever you wanna call it. Fire right up. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is a Caterpillar 426 model engine hoist. Um, I got a few little, got some leaky. Cylinders there. And we'll just put that up there. All right. Good to go. All right. So, we're going to let this baby warm up. And, oh, God, I'm covering the camera. Let this baby warm up. What am I doing? Jesus. Anyways, we're warming up. We'll be back. Here we are. Just going to get set up here. I think I'm close enough. We'll see here. I'll throw it up. There we are. Get level. Good. Make sure we don't smash into anything. All right. So now, let's see if I can do this one handed. This is where I put the bucket for the windshield or something. I put that out down there. And then over here, below. And then we'll crush the Mustang. No, nope, we're going to be alright. So I want to do, I'm going to extend it down. I'm going to pull up the back. So I can lift it out just straight up. Do a nice straight pull with my extended boom. So, I'm going to throw a chain on it, see what happens. Okay, well, moment of truth. We've got Amy on the other side. Uh, 
some direction because I can't see very well, so we'll see how it goes. easier than I thought it would so I'm gonna put it on the stand now all right so I'm gonna move the car back inside and uh, move this engine over and we can get it on the stand and maybe put it inside too real easy without any weight in it. Yes, right, look at that engine. Okay, so I am uh, now going to see if I can put it on this stand. Um, and then someday, I don't know when, I'm going to tear it apart um, and see what we got. So, let's see. Right here. I can tip it a little bit. One side's a little higher than the other. What do I got? Oh, I gotta loosen all these bolts off. I need a wrench. I'll be back. Okay, so I've got everything nice and loose. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of weasel this into place and see what bolt holes I'm going to use. I'm gonna use that one for that one. Get that started. That one. This one. It's sitting too low. See that? Oh, that's the wrong one. that and I think I can maybe get one more. Maybe. That's me. Lift up a little bit. Oh, it's 
wrong one I'm trying to put into. That's not going to work. It needs to go up just a titch. So. Is that going to work? That might work. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing has to go up. Alright, let's do that. go up again. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> Drain a lot of water. started. Uh, let's see if we can get this so it looks halfway decent. Uh, whole thing needs to come over. I'm going to get some of these tightened up a little more. And then 
maybe undo the chains. As we're settling, I'm gonna lift it up one more time and see how that goes. barking at me so that's good. I wonder if you guys are loud out here, you know? I feel like it's bottoming out. I if I got a shorter bolt. Let's see, I don't have another one. There's a little shorter. Yeah, I think that's the problem. It's this one. Same length. Okay. I think I have one in the shop. Hold on. Okay. So after a lot of dicking around, I finally found the right length bolts. And I think I almost got it centered. We got it jacked way up in the air right now. Um, just so I can... Everything's just a little loose. Tight, loosen that off a little bit. Um, yeah, I want to tighten these up. They're pretty loose right now. And then get the engine centered on this stand. Hopefully. What? I need to move it. Boy, once you use ratchet wrenches, you just get spoiled. center of the stand. Of course my engine's on an angle. There's probably better ways to do this, I'll be honest with you. But you can, sometimes you gotta work with what you got. This is all I got. in the center. This thing, of course, is loose. Uh, we'll tighten that down. Maybe it's just a titch. And let's set it down and see what happens. If it blows off, then we know we did something wrong. Yeah. Tighten these up. Everything looks like it's where it needs to be. Centered, nice tight. Now I am sitting on the gravel at an angle, but we'll see if the chain is loosened off. And what Here we go. Looks okay. Not going anywhere. I ain't going nowhere. Bit of a turn on. 
Oh yeah, good. Get that tightened up. Yeah, that looks alright. Very happy. And I wonder, I bet I can swing that right in the garage. Let's see. I'll change angles with you. Nice. Let's see how close I can get. I'm pretty far out. I bet everybody's wondering when it, when Caterpillar started making engine hoists. Well, you know, it's just, it's 98, no, 98, and 88. Um, they didn't make them before then. Uh, digs one hell of a hole. It'll help you dig the foundation to your barn, put up the trusses. It just does everything really well. Lift the walls. Yeah. If you can, get yourself a Caterpillar 426 engine hoist. You'll never regret it. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, the engine is out. Everything went way better than I thought it would. Um, I, I knew the, uh, the old cat would lift it, not a problem. Just that it would I tear the front end off of the car. You know, you never know. You never know. But... Here's a little peek inside, in case anybody's wondering. And I'm right in the light. And in the light again. Um, yeah, it looks like an engine from 1969. There's a little build up in the bottom, a bit of sludgy. Um, you know, just the way it is. Um, yeah, maybe in a couple videos I'll. Uh, Pull the valve covers off and go through it and I gotta be gonna tear this whole thing down anyway. Probably send it out and get you know, just checked over. So like if you've seen the other videos, it does have almost a hundred thousand miles on it. Um but yeah, it's uh still had good oil pressure. There was only one cylinder that had low compression. I'm interested to see what that was about. I'm guessing it was a ring. Just kinda 
a little bit of rust inside. It didn't, it turned over, but it was, it sat for 40 years without being started. So, uh, yeah, the old stand's going to hold her nice. You know, it is what it is. It's good enough for what I need. Um, yeah, came out surprisingly well. The engine mount bolts, they just slid right out. This, it was great. You know, everything looks, everything looks old. It just is. Water pump never leaked either. You know, I had water in it and it did not, I thought for sure that'd come pouring out. Um, yeah, everything needs to be, everything's rusty, the block's rusty. Um, yeah, there's the back, let me see in there. That was underneath the plate, so it doesn't, it looks okay. It never leaked oil. Um, yeah, I don't know if it had some work done to it previously. Um, it was only on the road for 11 years. So before it sat, um, you can see the old valve covers powered by Ford. I kind of like them. I like that, that old, that old F. That's fun. Not just because it starts with F2, but yeah, I kind of like that. I did have some chrome ones that I had found. They didn't, didn't cost me anything. So that, oh, maybe I'll use those, but maybe I'll do something with these. I kind of like them. I do have some plans for this engine, which I will reveal in a later date. I'm still working on, I need to find out what's going on with this block first, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this hopefully tear, torn down, sent out machine shop over the winter. That way it's ready for when I need it, which who knows how long that'll be. Like you've seen this thing, it's, it's completely rusted. So that'll take a while. So maybe if I get bored of doing body work, I'll start working on the engine. Who knows? But yeah, looks a little lighter in the front. I don't know if you can tell. She's a little, she's not squat anymore. Not that these are any type of squat cars, but the, uh, she's definitely riding high in the front now, which, which is, uh, yeah, bound to be. I took out a few hundred pounds out of the front, so. Looking kind of empty, but doesn't look too bad. A little bit of rust around the firewall. Boy, that doesn't look terrible, you know. Yeah, everything looks like, well, it's, what's kind of nice is that there was a lot of stuff covered in oil under here. So that kind of prevented the rusting. Who knew? Oil leaks were your friend. So, anyways, that's it for today. Well, I'll see you next video.